this year, 2024, I urge citizens of this country to see security as a collective responsibility of all. Therefore, no greed for terrorists, no greed for perpetrators of insecurity. Slogan for 2023-24 for our young ones is no degree for anybody. Uh, we have been informed from our intelligence that this slogan is coming from a revolutionary sector that may likely cause problems across the country. No degree for anybody is being seen as just a normal talk. But in security business, in security community, we have seen it as a very, very dangerous slogan that can trigger crisis. In the birth of this new year 2024, there is a current slogan going viral, no grief for anybody, which is translated to do not allow someone to intimidate you, do not allow someone to just do what you don't like at all, that this is a new year and it's a year that no one should tolerate nonsense. So that is just the literal interpretation of that uh, slogan, no grief for anybody. So Nigerian police literally misunderstood, or let me just say they did not um, misunderstand it, that they knows what the people meant or what we are saying, that nobody should grieve for anybody. Now, during the NSAS protests, for you to know where the police is coming from, the Nigerian police um, started seeing things like play, um, NSAS now, answers now before you know people are already in the streets answers answers that was how the thing escalated and police couldn't control anything even police stations were being burned down policemen have to had to remove their uniform and hide so that hondonons will not kill them so that was their fear that was their threat that this one that these people have started a new year with a new slogan no grief for anybody it seems that we are not going to end well in this year. But however, when you look at it in other manner, in Nigeria now, the Nigeria we are seeing today is a country that you shouldn't grieve for anybody. Why should you agree for anybody where people are dying, police is not paying enough consent to the death of so many people? People are being abducted. Our brothers and sisters in the north, is either someone is waiting to be kidnapped or someone is waiting to be killed. And you said the slogan should not cause revolution, guy. The slogan is a revolutionary slogan, and there is nothing more than that. Absolutely nothing more than that. No addition, no suppression, no agree for anybody is a revolutionary slogan. Now, the other day, the senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Fandana, came to arise. Um, no, sorry, it was challenged television. He told Nigerians why they should have gone. That you should license gun, buy gun, license gun, and use gun. He also educated Nigerians that there are some conditions that you could even use, even sophisticated weapon. That a terrorist cannot come to your village and begin to shoot people because you are not allowed to carry gun. You said you cannot lay your hands on AK-47 and retaliate. So the man just explained everything well. I made that video. You can check it in my videos. I titled the video Nigerians Can Bear Arms. Every Nigerian citizen can bear arms. But the senior advocate of Nigeria, Fandana, said, you must license it. It must be registered. It must be known to the government that you have, you know, a self-defense weapon around you because of threat of insecurity. Now, let us come back to this slogan, no grief for anybody. In this 2024, anyone, especially when it comes to the security of life and property. You see, Nigeria, Nigeria's problem is insecurity believe me or not because the cost of goods now in the market is being sponsored by the insecurity where farmers cannot go to farm in peace people will go to farm they will be kidnapped and even the whole money they have gained or realized from farming in so many years will be used for their ransom so it is not encouraging people are not getting motivation to go into farming again and this is going to be a catastrophe it is going to be catastrophic because the inflation will be going high every day regardless of the cost of fuel, the bad roads, and so many other things that are contributing to the inflation in the market. But the main thing is insecurity. People are not ready to go to farm. Because if you ask them, they will tell you, it is better for me to stay hungry than for me to die. That when I step into the bush, no police there to protect me. Even when you see that, oh, there is a threat of insecurity, you put a distress call on police and soldiers, they will hardly respond to you. So this is the situation that people are angry for.
and that is why in this year you shouldn't agree for anybody to intimidate you for anybody to embarrass you for anybody to just come out and do whatever they like in the name of obedience to the constitution so we didn't say that someone should not be loyal to the constitution yes everybody is expected to obey the rules and regulation but not to the detriment of losing your lives and property now i want to make this thing clear if you know any house of assembly member you know any politician you see it is time for us to take the bull by the head it is time for us to start talking to our politician they listen they did not listen time we come you know they will smell the coffee but it is time for us to start talking to them without fear of favor because i think the legislatures as well not only the president the legislatures they have a lot of work to do they have a lot of a lot of things to do because if these people are not there to pressure the executive to checkmate them they are not doing anything robust stamp as far as the executive will allow them to sign the budget that will benefit them that will make them rich but let me tell you this insecurity it will grow to a certain extent and everybody will run people will begin to run even your armor car or so after all before you you could see that even all these terrorists they were attacking military barrack they were attacking police barrack Nigerians need to come together to fight this once and for all. Let me tell you the honest truth. The soldiers are trying to. The problem is with the politicians. The insecurity problem is with the politicians, not with the soldiers. Because the soldiers are doing the possible best, everything that they could to make sure that uh, they fight this insecurity. But the politicians who have, who are the commander, president is the commander in chief. So if they issue command to those people in the war front, they will obey because in military, in police, anything force, you must obey your senior. Even though you point gun on terrorists, you want to shoot the terrorists, your senior said don't shoot, you shouldn't shoot. That is the danger of the seniority in this uh, force works. So these people are trying, they are laying down their life for us, they are doing, paying a lot of sacrifice for us, but they don't have choice. They don't have choice. Sometimes they know the right thing to do. If you have, if you have had, had time with a retired military or retired soldier, you know they will tell you the experiences. You will understand that insecurity in Nigeria is very, very political. It is very, very political in the sense that politician knows how to stop the insecurity if they have the political will to do so, but they don't have it. That is why when you see any politician, do not be afraid to talk to them. Talk to your councillor, talk to your local government chairman. If you have any opportunity, tell them the truth they need to hear. Tell them, see, they are not the one feeding you. Forget about it. Until they see you as someone who knows his or her right, these people will not begin to do the right thing. So, I really support the soldier's claim that said, no grief for insecurity. No grief for anybody. So, if the police misunderstood, you know, the slogan, it is their own business. As far as I'm concerned, the slogan is revolutionary. I think that is what we need at this moment. Nobody should agree for anybody. I won't agree for me to be intimidated this year. I won't agree for someone to just come and kidnap me. Little children will come and kidnap me. And made the way my heart and money have been struggling with. It shouldn't happen and it will not happen. This year, I mean this 2024, everybody must coordinate everybody must coordinate because when you look at it now soldiers police let me say their hands have been tied no weapon to fight nothing nothing they are not being motivated by payment by stipends and so on and so forth they are not being motivated so what i'm saying is that we should take the responsibility of defending ourselves if the government shouldn't by having weapons register them legally i didn't say you should carry a gun in the gandhi carry it legally but anything you could just to protect yourself according to one man if you allow all these small small boys to kill you one day they will even repent and go to heaven they have killed you so that is it i really um i appreciate the understanding of the nigerian soldier i think these people are in the war front they knew what is going on in nigeria that this year 2024 no nigerian should even agree for anybody to intimidate him or her Thanks for listening. We have demonstrated our commitment by our actions to win this war. Troops will therefore act with tremendous force to achieve the tasks ahead as we progress in the year 2024. Having said that, I will say this. 
This year, 2024, I urge citizens of this country to see security as a collective responsibility of all. Therefore, no greed for terrorists, no greed for perpetrators of insecurity.